In this lecture, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a WordPress blog. Now, in the last lecture, I showed you guys how to set up a blog on blogger.com. WordPress is a little bit more advanced, but I'm going to show you guys all the steps that you need to know in order to be able to set up a WordPress blog. Now, with a WordPress blog, before you get one, you're most likely going to have to go through a company that's going to provide you with the hosting plan. It will come with the free application where you can install WordPress with the click of a mouse. It will cost you less than $10 a month and it will include a domain name which is your blog URL or address, email address, 24-7 support most of the time you will need to check with what hosting provider that you use, bandwidth which is the space for your blog and possibly some other features. I am going to show you guys how to to select a theme and also to install a theme on WordPress. They have free themes available. I'm also going to show you guys some plugins that you need to use and how they work as well as how to write a post and also how to use tags, HTML and categories. So I'm going to show you guys all of this and then we're going to get started with that right away. So after you go into your hosting plan the first thing that you're probably going to see when you go online and when you're ready to set it up and this is just something I found on Google search is you're going to log in through your administrator login so after you installed WordPress or maybe your hosting provider will install it for you you're going to see a page that looks like this you're going to put in your username and your password and log in after you do that you're going to be taken to this page. Now, it's not going to look exactly like this, but it will be a, a page that's kind of has black and on the left hand side, all of your features will be here. You won't see all of these features, but it'll look like this. This is your administrative portal where you're going to go and work on your site on the back end. Once you're here, the first thing that I recommend that you guys start with is click on appearance and go to theme. I'm already in the theme section and if I scroll down you're going to see some sample themes that you can choose from to put on your install into your WordPress blog. But and when you install WordPress it probably will take you just a few minutes to install it and after you log in then you can start you know selecting your theme. So you can choose from the ones that they have here. You can also buy a theme and download it. And if you wanted to upload it, then you could do that here. You can just click on Add New, and it'll bring up some more themes. It also gives you the option to upload a theme that you've downloaded in a zip file. And you can click Upload here, and then it'll be installed into your WordPress application but you can pick from some of the ones that they have available here. I already have a theme selected but if you wanted to do that you just you could click on a preview of the theme and if you liked it then you can install it so you know you could just choose from some of the things that they have here depending upon what kind of blog you have of course you may want to pick select something that would reflect the topic that you have or something that looks appealing to you or may attract your or be appealing to your visitors as well so that's what I would recommend something that is easy and has a nice layout and it's clean you could choose from those after you have installed your theme the next thing you want to do is go and customize it so you're going to click to customize your theme and it's going to take a few seconds depending upon how fast your internet connection is it may load a little bit faster so I have the freelancer theme. I could always change it to something else, but I'm going to work with this. And so I'm going to go down and show you guys some of the features of this particular theme. So if I wanted to change, this is only, this is going to reflect on my front page, this bar, right, left hand sidebar right here. So if I wanted to change my header content, I could change the title and the tagline right here. I could also upload a logo, which I already have, but if I wanted to change that logo, I could, as well as navigate or play around with the colors and the layout. If you like the way your theme is set up, then you don't really have to do anything here, 
with the exception of setting up your widgets. Now you want to do that. So on the right sidebar, which is going to be here, I'm going to show you guys, right over here, all of this is your right sidebar. So you can do like you can on Blogger, you can add a widget here. So they have some different widgets that you could, you know, choose from. Some of these are from plugins, but I'll show you guys about plugins a little bit later. But you can insert a calendar of your site's posts, blog subscriptions, an email email form so people can sign up, a custom menu if you have a Facebook page for your blog, then you can insert that there. Um, any kind of list of pages, an RSS feed, text, anything. So remember how I showed you guys in Blogger how you can insert text or HTML. I'm going to do the same thing here and just show you guys. Really, it's, sim it's similar to Blogger. I'm going to go back to CJ. And because this is a survey blog, I'm going to click to get a link like I did before. And once the page loads up, we're going to choose from, there's different banners here you can choose from. So I'll just get this banner. Get the code, copy HTML, go back to the site, paste it here, and it's going to show you what it would look like it'll give you a preview of what it would look like after you have you know made that change and if you like it you can click save and publish so I may need to scroll down and there it is and I'm just doing this for a tutorial so that's fine so I'm gonna save this particular feature and then I'm gonna click this bar to go back and I could also go in and navigate with with my widgets and I can move some up or down you know customize it whatever you can do all of that here so you can move them select them and move them around depending upon how you want your blog to look the first footer widget and um, that's another widget it has text here now but you can also add other features and that's at the bottom of my website down here that's the first footer that's the second that's the third just to give you an idea of what to expect and you can add different ads and things like that so that's just gonna show you guys I'm showing you guys how you can lay out your home page or your main page and the header and and different things if you want to put a background image you could do so so I'm gonna X out of this and I'm gonna go back to my administrator dashboard or portal and after you've selected a theme and you've figured out how you want it to look and you're happy with how that looks, what I would recommend that you do next is kind of go and look at some plugins. They have a lot of free plugins and this is one of the things that makes it a lot different from Blogger because it's very, very powerful. A lot of plugins, you can get SEO, which is search en engine optimization plugins. Um, you can get all different kinds of features. Say if you want to promote Amazon on your blog, for example, just type in Amazon and it's gonna. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I know what I did wrong. Add new plugin. It was looking for the plugins I already had. So make sure you click add new first. And it's gonna give you a list of plugins here so far that you could put into your theme, and then it'll tell you some popular plugins and this is based on how many installs that it has on WordPress blogs and how they could help your site and, and it'll tell you if it's compatible with your version and you can read more details for for example if you want the all SEO pack you can read more information about it and see how it works see people's reviews um, find out how the installation works and you can just click install now and it'll install it and after it does that plugin will show up right over here and you can just go in and adjust the settings so another plugin our a plugin I would recommend that you guys use is Yoast this is a good SEO plugin if you get a WordPress blog it's really really nice and it will help you and it really helps you to write better like it says here and all different kinds of things I also recommend 
if you want to protect your content, then you get this plug in. It's going to show up in a minute. This WP content, no right click, so that no one you don't have to worry about people trying to steal your content. Also, another plugin that you can use if you want social media links to show up on your site. If you're on social media, then here are some plugins that you can use and it'll show you if it's compatible. And then once you install it and you go in over here, you just go to the settings and you're going to click on the settings of that plugin and then you'll put in your links to all your social media sites so that it'll show up on your home page and then people can just find you there those other places too so those are just a couple of things I mean there's a lot of plugins that you guys can use but it makes it so much more user friendly and makes it more powerful than blogger these plugins so you can just choose like I said from some of the ones they may recommend to you are the most popular ones and you can add those over time you know gradually but um, you definitely want to have something to protect your content want to help you with SEO um, you want to have some stats so you may want to get stat counter for example or Google An Analytics to make sure you can check your stats online and all of that and see where people are finding you from security word front word fence security I would definitely recommend that you install that to help to protect your site from hacks and also malware so those are just a few things that I would recommend that you guys use now after you have installed a few plugins the next thing that I would recommend I'm gonna show you guys how to do is kind of in your blog is set up the way that you want it to I'm going to show you guys how to do posts. Now, when you have a plugin that needs to be updated, it'll show you right here, and you can click on that to update those plugins. And if you have any comments, of course, you can click that and adjust and monitor those comments and rate those. If you want to make a new post, all you have to do or add a page, you can click here to add a new page, real simple, just like you would if you were on if you are at blogger.com the same thing you're just really working on the back end of your site and you can always view your blog to reflect how it looks after you've made those changes and if you don't like them you can always go back and you know um, take that out or delete it or um, change or uninstall that plugin or something like that a feature but if you want to add a new page you could name the title of your page and then put the content there and your, if you want an image to show up in there and also the link to where you want that image to go, you can do all of that. So if you were going to write a new post, say you just set up your theme and you install your plugins and you have it looking the way you like it and it looks fun to you, then when you're ready to write a new post for your content or for your blog, and it also depends on what kind of theme that you have to then it's similar to blogger as you can see you can just write the name of your post you write a title here let's do some um, real simple below that you can write your content the same as you would on blogger Okay, I'm just giving an example. So the same thing here as you would do with um, the blogger site. If you wanted to add um, some HTML in here, instead of visual, you're going to click text. And it's going to look like that. And you can add your code, like an HTML code. So let's take this code here that I got there. I'm going to show you guys. <clears throat> even though it doesn't go with what I was talking about do you see it's really the same thing you want to add an HTML code in there um, 
and you can always remove that. If you wanted to add an image here, you just click Add Media and you can put an image in your post. You could add a YouTube video in your post. You could align it to the center, left, right. In your images, you could put a quote in there, bolden your text, and all different kinds of things. If you wanted to link to something, you could highlight that word, same as you would in Blogger. Click on that to insert your link and put it there. Um, and over here, this is one important thing that you want to make sure that you give attention to. Categories. It'll give you sample categories that you use from, but when you're before you make your post or publish it, make sure you click to add a new category, put it there, and that's kind of kind of categorize your post so that when people search for things online, they can find you. This is an SEO technique too to help you guys get traffic to your site. Also, tag it, which is more general. You can choose from the most common tags, or also um, just add a new tag and click add and you know maybe it's about legit surveys um, you know Darwin's data you want to be more specific with those tags or Darwin's data survey panel click add something like that before you publish it and then when you're ready when you're finished writing your content there make sure you have at least 300 words in your post too I forgot to tell you guys that earlier but make sure you have that and then check before you publish it WordPress will tell you if you have any mistakes or if any if there's some wording in there that doesn't really go together or doesn't sound right and you can edit it before you click publish and then once you click publish then it'll be out there reflected on your site and it'll be categorically like here you see it'll show up just like that on your site on the first page and then go to the second page every time you write a new post it'll show up just like that same with blogger so make sure you use some of those plugins um, you can work on your site it may take you a little bit longer to kinda get more familiar with WordPress but it's really it's a little bit more powerful but they have lots more features that you can use to make your blog stand out to make the visitor experience more user friendly and um, it's just a powerful um, application that you can use and this is how you work on it every time you go to publish a new post or to add a post this is how you would actually work on WordPress you go in through the back end here and then you can make those changes so that you can update your your site or make new posts and all different kinds of things so that you, you can make this site more user friendly to your followers and and um, have these features that you will not be able to receive anywhere else um, on Blogger. And also, if you have a Google AdSense account, you would you can add a plugin for that. So anytime you want to add something new, you just click Add New Plugin. We're going to leave this page because I'm not going to publish that post. And you can go in and look for Google AdSense, search for that plugin, and it should bring it up, and it'll tell you. How you can put that plugin in there, and then all you need to do is get your publisher ID once your account is approved, install that plugin, and then it'll show ads on your site. Now, of course, remember these stars show you the user ratings and then how many people have installed it. So the more popular one shows up first. Um, but if you want to change some of your settings about how your writing is shown on your blog your header and footer different things like that you can go in there and play around with those settings and um, it's really simple and that's how it works and you can just publish new posts and write that content and share it to others online and so this is another way that you guys can get started with your own blogger website using WordPress so thank you so much for watching this lecture and in the next lecture I'll talk talk to you more about how you can do get traffic to your blog and so many other features that you guys need to know about